Yo guys, what is going on? It is your girl here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, guys, we are going over The Sims 4 Studio and how to download this, guys. 100% free, like it is up on the website for free, guys. I'm going to go over how to install it and how to get into it and how to get the basics out of this studio. And I'm not just going to be doing this one video, guys. There are a few videos coming where I'll go over how to create clothing, how to create objects, how to create building materials, guys. It's simple, it's easy, and trust me, once you get into it guys you are going to understand it so to begin guys you need to know how to install it and how to set up the sims 4 studio as i said guys it is so simple and so easy i'm no computer whiz i know what i'm doing around my computer i did not understand it in the beginning so i'm here guys to give you a quick easy tutorial on how to install it and how to use it but before i get onto this video guys can you all go down below and hit that like button hit that subscribe button to help me get to 900 subscribers i give it all my heart guys i'm trying my best to upload the content that you guys want to see so the first thing you're going to want to do guys is go down below and click that link in the description it's going to bring you to this page now up in the top corner up here you've got register or log in i've already got an account guys so i don't need to register but you're going to need to register to get in to download this guys so you're going to register here guys and make sure you put in your official email address because you will be sent a registration number so once you've registered guys go over to log in and i'm going to log in real quick so once you've logged in guys you're then gonna see all this weird looking confusing stuff so you've got a few to download from guys i've downloaded this one download and install sims 4 studio guys you can also go to this one if you want to but i'm i'd recommend going to the top one guys that's the most tested and the most viewed one so you're then gonna go to this page guys and you're gonna click on download sims 4 studio then you're going to be hit with this page. This page just tells you everything about it, um, about the actual like downloading and all that kind of stuff. But you're then going to click on Sims 4 Wishes. If you're using it for Mac, guys, then click on the candy apple right here, guys. But if you're using Windows like me, just go to the Sims 4 Studio Wishes. Then a page is going to pop up, guys, where you were given this. And you, this just shows you some of the things you can do, some of the things you can customize. You're just going to keep going all the way down, guys, until you see download. You're either going to download the installer or zip guys but i'm gonna do the installer just to show you because it's simple and easier so another window is gonna pop up and you're gonna click download here and down the bottom right here you will see that it's downloading guys so once you've got the installer guys you're then gonna double click it so that it opens up and then you're gonna get this guys window protected your pc you're gonna go to more op more info guys and you're gonna run anyway like this is 100 percent safe I've had no problems, my antivirus is on, I have no problems with this program whatsoever. So once it's installed, guys, you're then going to be given this page. So one thing that a lot of people do have problems with is the seeding of the actual folder. And basically what it's trying to do is the is the studio is trying to find where the sims 4 game is installed and sometimes it can't find it so your best best option to do guys is click on these three dots here minimize go to where your sims 4 is installed or go to the icon of the sims 4 open file location and then see where it's installed so for example um mine is installed in my data pc okay so we're gonna find out where that's installed guys so i'm gonna go to this pc and now you shouldn't have the problem for the sims 4 path because i had that problem a few times and i didn't know which way to get around it it's basically saying that the sims 4 studio can't find where it's located okay guys so once you're inside the sims 4 studio everything in front of you is pretty easy to understand once you get around it so the first things you see guys are these right here so you've got the animation i have a mess to the animation so you don't really have to do that but i'm kind of guessing that's how your sims move the build guys is all the build structures so i'm going to quickly go over that with you so you've got all the walls um you've got the floors you've got the roofs and you've got the foundations and you've also got the tyrene 
<clears throat> terrain, whatever that says. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty simple in here, guys. You can click on them, you can customize them. It's it's really simple. I'll show you another video on how to do that. So keep your eyes open for that, guys. But then you can go into create a sim. So make sure you click on the 3D mesh right there, guys, and go into create a sim. And in here, guys, you'll find everything that is inside your game packs, from your the clothes that you wear to the hairs to the eyebrows to the eyes, everything, guys. When it comes to create a sim, you've got all your categories right here, guys. As I said, it's simple, it's easy, and it's really easy to get around once you understand what you're doing. And you have every single piece of clothing and piece of accessory that you, once it comes to creating a sim. So the next thing you have then, guys, is objects. Again, click on create 3D mesh click on objects and again you have every single object you have in the sims 4 you have all your game packs right here you have all your content right here and you even have your searching so let's just go to toddler blah 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 i know i spelled it wrong and then you have all this here guys so i'm just gonna do a bed just to show you guys and once you click on the object that you want guys so i'm gonna do this bed you're gonna click next then you're going to find where you want to save it so you i'm gonna go into bedroom right here and go to toddler bed one and then it'll open up into another little page, guys, which one people people can find this page a little bit confusing so i'm going to go over it with you guys quickly but again i will do a more in-depth video on how to go over everything in another video <clears throat> so you're then brought into this page right here and you have the catalog you have texture you had meshes tags and rig slots so your texture is the one you want to be playing with guys so you're going to export it right here and <clears throat> you're going to be saving it as a png file so let's just go to toddler bed one and save and then you're going to open up your editing program. So I'm going to open up my Photoshop, guys. But again, you can open up your free editing software, um, photo editing software. It doesn't have to be Photoshop. But Photoshop is my go-to for everything. And I find it a lot easier to use Photoshop. So we're going to open up our toddler bed right here, guys. And then we're going to do some customization. And then we that that's our bed done, guys. So we're gonna save that. Make sure you save as a PNG. That is your main object, guys. Is make sure you're saving these a PNG, otherwise it will not work. And let's go to toddler bed pepper pig save. Okay. Go back into your Creative Sims Studio or uh, Sims 4 Studio and import there, guys. And you're going to import your saved PNG file. So I've got my toddler bed right here. Then we're going to save that, guys. Now, as you can see, we have the toddler bed right there, guys. All nice and done and simple. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, so how do I get that into my game? So you're going to click on File right here. We're going to click Save As. Then we're going to save it where you want to be saved. So I'm, I've got a page for um, a folder for done cc and then we're going to save it as toddler bed pepper or pepper pig and then we're going to go save so once we've saved that guys you're going to go into your folder from where it is inside your documents so let me go to um done cc toddler bed that it is right there guys you're going to open up your sims 4 folder go to my mod folder if you don't have a mod folder yet guys just make one just make a new folder and call it mods it will work i promise and you're then gonna get where your sorry if you can your dogs barking guys i do apologize you're then gonna get your little package that you just made guys and drag and drop it into your sims 4 mod folder and close it down guys and it is completely done so i'm gonna open up sims 4 and show you guys that it is done and i'll get straight back to you okay guys so one thing i forgot to say as well guys is you're probably wondering like i'm just showing you how to recolor things so i'm gonna show you in another video on how to make like remesh things as well guys so i can make you can make like totally different objects and put them into sims for example i don't know like an xbox one ps4 or something and totally redo it so we're in south sims 4 now and then we're gonna go and find our toddler bed so let's go into there let's go into there and if you're looking for your content just go into content custom content and boom we have our toddler bed that we just made guys right here it might not be completely Peppa Pig, but it is 
how I said it was going to be. So yeah, guys, like I said, there's a, a whole ton of things you can do, guys. There's a whole ton of different things you can do. Um, I will be going over some mesh things in the future as well, guys. Um, I'm still getting that used to that myself. We will go over a load of other things in loads of other videos. And I promise you guys that I will upload other videos and more in-depth videos on how to and how to use these and how to customize everything on these guys so if you were looking forward to these videos make sure you turn on your notifications make sure you're hitting that like button and make sure you're hitting that subscribe button as well guys as i said we will be doing everything so yeah guys i hope you like this video and i'll see you all in the next video it's been your girl peace